Hi guys, it's K2132 on this is my contest entry. Um, so let me start off with how I got interested in reptiles. As most people, I started off with goldfish. Um, goldfish come and go very fast. And so after a while, I was getting pretty bored of goldfish. Um, I went through so many and they would just last, you know, a month or two and then they would die. And I had this one goldfish for like a really long time. And after like two years, it died. And I was so sad and I decided I wanted something different. At the time, when I was around eight, everyone had pet hermit crabs. And that was just the coolest thing to have. And so, of course, I wanted a pet hermit crab. And so, um, I, I went to Petco with my dad. And we were looking at the hermit crabs. And near the hermit crabs were also the geckos and lizards and just the reptiles. And the geckos and lizards interested me um, a lot as well. And I thought those were pretty cool. And so I went on and I asked my friends and family, they're like, oh, what do you guys think is cool or what should I get? A lizard or a hermit crab? And of course everyone said a lizard because those, they thought that would be pretty cool. Um, so the day when I went to go get my lizard, I went with my dad and there was this like teenage boy there. And I guess he was just looking around, just checking out the reptiles. And, you know, I was like, oh, dad, I don't know which one. And then the guy heard us and he was like, oh, what you, are you guys um, getting a lizard? And, he, and we were like, yeah, but we're stuck between either a knoll or a leopard gecko. And he was like, oh, well, I've had knolls for a long, long time and they're just great pets. I really recommend you guys get get one or a few. And we said, oh, OK, that sounds cool. And so then the employee came to help us out. And then we we're like, oh, what do you think is a better um beginner pet for a girl, you know, my age. And they, and she said, oh, leopard geckos are great. They're perfect, you know, first time pets. And it's great for a girl my age. I can hold, I'd be able to hold them and stuff. And so we um, decided to go with leopard geckos because that seemed more reasonable because gnolls were um, really fast and stuff. And so um, I had two geckos to choose from. And I was, I really wanted, um, my dad really wanted this one. He thought she looked healthier. And then, they were babies, of course. He thought she looked healthier. And then I saw this other one, and she was, um, I think, like a Bella albina or a Trumper albina. And um, she was yellow with pink patches. And, of course, I thought that was so cool because she had pink on her. So I was like, oh, I want this one, the pink one. And then he's like, oh, no, no, this one looks better. And so, you know, of course, I had to listen to my dad. Not that I really care. Like, I didn't. At, in the, at the end of the day, I was still a happy child because I got a pet. Um, but I'm happy with my choice because I really like her now. I've always liked her. Um, but that's how I started off with reptiles. I've had her for like seven years now, six or seven years. Um, so she's doing great, as you can tell. Her tail does look a little thin, but um, she's always, like, her tail doesn't fatten up. I don't know why. She eats a lot. Like, in one feeding, and this will be, like, every week or every other week, she'll eat, like, 20 or 25 um, superworms. So, her tail just doesn't get fat. That's just the way she is. Her body, like, I don't know if you can tell, but um, she's pretty. She's a decent size. Um, she currently weighs, and she just laid, like, a clutch of eggs that actually went bad um, a few weeks ago. So, she's still trying to gain all that fat. Um, but she's actually 51 grams. Not too bad. Um, I'd be worried if, you know, she was under 50, but she's doing fine. Um, you could see those bite marks, so there was breeding probably going on because she's housed with a male tremper albino. Um, so what I've done for reptile awareness. Um, my mom is actually pretty scared of animals. She only likes my cat. <laughs> um, and she didn't like the idea of really getting, like, a reptile. But over the years, I've gotten her pretty used to them. And actually, um, me and my siblings had this master plan like a few years ago. And um, Spot was mine, of course. And I have a little brother and a little sister. And so we thought, what if, because Spot was a girl, what if my brother got another gecko and he'd be a boy and then my other sister and my sister would get like a gecko as well and be a girl. And we thought that'd be pretty neat. And, um, you know, two females and a male can live together. And so we went on with our plan. And um, we actually, like, made a PowerPoint and stuff. And we show how, um, you know, it could show my siblings' responsibility. 
And so my parents said, okay, we'll get you guys one more. And so we did get one more, and he was a male Tremper albino. Let me just take him out. And where did he go? He's hiding under the paper towel, as usual. Sorry, let me just grab him. So we got this guy. This is George, my male Tremper albino. Um, he's pretty cool looking, he has cool looking eyes. I'm a full focus, there we go. So here he is. He lives with Spot in this tank that I built with my dad. Um, so we got him, and then like a year or two later, my sister finally got hers. So this was my brother's. And my sister got hers, which was this girl. So let me just show her to you guys, get her out. And she's housed alone because my female doesn't like her. Like, she's, she doesn't like other geckos. And then the male would try to breed with her so that it wouldn't work out. So let me just separate her over here. Um, but here she is. She's actually currently in shed. Um, so Spot over here is a normal slash hyella. George is a Trump albino. And she actually got her from an expo. And she's an albino, possible giant, 100% head raptor. Um, so this is Sunny, George, and Spot. Um, so, you know, my mom eventually gave in. She was like, oh, you know, these are great ideas. It shows, you know, my children's responsibility. So that's what I've done for the reptile community. Um, also, my friends were pretty scared. And then they're like, oh, what the heck? You have, like, three geckos. What a creep. Um, no, not a creep. But um, they were just, they wondered what interested me in geckos and stuff and eventually you know as they interfered with them they grew to like really most of them really liked spot like they loved her um so she was definitely a favorite out of the three um but yeah i've gotten a lot of my friends to really like geckos as well and some actually went out and bought bought like gecko um so that's pretty neat um so my favorite reptile obviously is the re leopard gecko um, if I had to choose one of them, I guess Spot, because she was my first one, and I told you how I got her already. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, let me just show you Sunny's cage, she's up there, and they're both heated with a heat, heat pad. Um, so yeah, that's it. Here are my geckos, and thank you so much for watching.